Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I want you to try something different, generating anime style art. So I started looking for a model built specifically for that and I found Neta Lumina. What really surprised me? It runs on less than 6 GB of VRAM and was trained on over 13 million anime style images. Even better, it uses the Gamma 2B model which is 6 times faster than T5 encoders and it supports prompts in English, Chinese and Japanese with amazing accuracy. That's what makes it perfect for the anime style generation. Now it's time to test the model inside PUI. I started by creating a simple workflow, just the basics and I'll update it later if the results don't meet our expectations. First, I added the model section, then the prompt node and connected them to the sampling node to prepare for the first test. To run this workflow, you'll need three files. First, download the model file called Neta Lumina v1.0 all in one safe tensors and place it inside your models diffusion model folder in Comfy UI. Second, for the text encoder, you will need Gemma 2 to be FP16 safe tensors which goes into the models text encoders folder. And finally, the VAE file is the same one we used in Flux workflow. So, no changes needed there. So, once all the files are in the right place, we are ready to go. Creating a workflow from scratch can take a lot of time. Trust me, I have spent hours just connecting nodes and debugging weird issues. That's exactly why I put together a free download to save you time. Just head over to aistudynow.com. Every post has a free workflow download section. All you need to do is enter your email address. You will receive a verification email in your inbox. I know it can be a little frustrating but it's only once. Once you verify, you won't have to do it again. And from that point on, you will be able to download any workflow instantly whenever you visit aistudynow.com. And if you don't receive the verification email, feel free to reach out to us. I'll be happy to verify your email manually. And here is the best part. If you don't want to connect with us, you can unsubscribe anytime. Just one click. Now I tested the workflow using a basic prompt. That is, create an image of a cat in anime style. But I got a blank result. No image at all. And that confused me. I double checked my settings which was 60 steps which is correct for this model, CFG at 5.5, sampler set to rest multi-step and the scheduler was linear quadratic. Everything seemed right. I even tried changing the sampler and lowering the steps but still nothing. No, me too. Then, I realized the re real issue. It was the prompt itself. This model needs a specific prompt format to work properly. Not just plain descriptions. So you have to be more careful about it. Finally, I found the solution. 
to make the model understand your anime style prompt you have to start with this line like you are an assistant designed to generate anime style images based on text prompts and here the prompt starts this line is required every time it tells the ai what kind of task it's doing but i have another solution for this instead of writing it manually for every prompt i split it across two text nodes first i put that fixed instruction in text 1 and then i place my actual prompt in text 2 this way you don't need to copy and paste that opening line every time so i tried again using the prompt create an image of a cat in anime style still and here is the result it's still blank image that's when i realized another key detail Neta Lumina doesn't respond well to plain text. It needs structured tag-based prompts. Just like anime style models on platforms like Civit AI. So here is how to build prompts the right way. So here is a different way to define the prompt. First if you want any character like you want a girl in the result so you have to write one girl or if you want a boy or cat so you have to define the number which can be one cat one girl two boy etc hope you understood my point similarly if you talk about art style it will go like anime pixel or digital painting whatever you are working on appearance blue eyes long hair white fur you have to describe properly next comes as expression like a cute ex- expression smiling then comes camera framing it, it should be close up upper body birds eye view so these kind of things should be there then only it will understand your prompt So after taking care of all these things in mind my prompt looked like this one cat anime blue eyes cute ex- expression soft lighting window light and best quality and here i skipped the camera and let the ai decide that part so when i hit generate finally it has worked the model produced a clean beautiful anime style cat just what i was hoping for and here is a tip you can even use chat gpt to turn your plain text prompt into proper anime text that saves a ton of time one more important thing i noticed during testing the negative prompt matters a lot at first i removed all the text from the negative prompt just to see what would happen and the result was noticeably worse the image lost details clarity and overall quality negative text pl- actually play a huge role in helping the model avoid unwanted details things like uh, blurry faces distorted limbs extra fingers low contrast and so on the more you optimize your negative prompt the cleaner and sharper your final image will be so here are some of the tags i used so you can always tweak and build on them to get even better results It's easy to skip this step but trust me your results will be much better if you take time to fine tune the negative prompt with that our workflow is finally ready so let's generate some anime art and here is the prompt i gave using tags and let's see 
if the model can deliver and finally we have got the result the ai did a great job creating a complex environment that matched the prompt perfectly but i noticed some small details were missing especially in the background next i tested emotion and facial expressions i gave it a smiling character and this time the result looked really solid it captured the expression well then i tried a geometric art style and again it followed the prompt nicely but when i tested line art almost every result had problems missing object details or parts that were slightly broken then i thought why not fix it right away and i started working on it i created a new group in the workflow and passed the output through flux after running it through flux it added extra details like clothing texture and filled in missing parts and the improvement was clear it really cleaned things up now let's move to the final test and this one pushes the model to its limits so i gave it a complex cinematic prompt with dozens of elements those are one girl line art gray scale yoneyama my style solo long red hair green eyes business casual blazer so let's see how did the model do and honestly the base result struggled some parts worked but many details were missing or poorly rendered so it's of no surprise this was a really dense and layered prompt but then i ran it through flux and the difference was incredible the details were sharper the lighting made more was sense clothing behavior shadows even the mood of the scene all of it improved dramatically uh-huh. flux took a rough first draft and turned it into something cinematic so that's all for today's video if you found it helpful please feel free to subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this thank you bye bye yeah,